Hey guys, it's Shannon. I am back today. I am on vacation and uh, at home, but taking some time off for my job. And I thought we could do some clearance shopping. I actually have decided to cancel my thread up goodie box. I just decided I wasn't liking what I was getting in there. And I think I can do better out on my own in the wild, right? So I. stopped by JC Penny today. Um, not a place I shot very often, but I do feel like you can get some decent basics there and they do actually have a lot of clearance. Um, also too, I was getting a lot of JC Penny items and my thread up goodie box. So I thought, well, let's go over there and take a peek. <music> So we're gonna do some voiceover today because JCPenney was actually quite busy that day. I also wanted to give you a quick look at my outfit of the day. So the first outfit I tried on was this little mustard knit dress by Liz Claiborne. This was originally $49. It was marked down to $24.49. And I think there was a coupon for all these items for about 25% off. I actually thought this was pretty cute. Um, I didn't buy this, but when I looked at the video, I thought, hey, that wouldn't have been a bad choice. So the next item I tried on was this little Liz Claiborne knit dress in burgundy. This was $20.65. This was a large, just like the yellow dress was, but this did not fit well in the bust, as you can see. It just looked too low and droopy and sad. But I did actually like this dress, and I think if the bust had fit, I might have actually purchased this. So, um, and it was really comfortable as well. So this next dress was a little junior's dress by the brand Buy and Buy. It was $17.59 and it was way too short and it looked way too young on me. Um, but you know, that's the whole point of trying, trying it on, right? To see maybe it would work, maybe not. So next dress was this little pink knit number by the brand 52.7, which I've never heard of before. This was originally $74 and they had it marked down to $33.29. Um, this fit well. It was a large. Um, I didn't love the neckline though, and it just wasn't anything special. It did have that cute little belt at the waist, and it was figure flattering though. So again, not bad. So this next outfit definitely looks like Dorothy from the Golden Girls. It wasn't the best option. So these are wide leg pants by Worthington that were marked down to $26.99, and these are a definite no. Okay, so the sweater was a double XL, so too big. It was marked down to $14.99, also a JCPenney brand. I actually thought the sweater had some potential if it had fit better, but the combined um, pairing was very, you know, 80-year-old lady. Next, we have a little white sleeveless sweater. This was originally $37 JCPenney brand and I ended up paying $17 for this. I actually did buy this. It is a size large and it just is like a really versatile cute knit um, that actually was also really soft. Here I'm just wearing it with the skirt I came in in. So next I'm wearing a little, just as a little a yellow and white striped tee. This actually is a double XL, so it's a little big. They didn't have a smaller size. This was originally $32, marked down to $17.59. I thought this was cute. It wasn't anything special. I'm also not a huge fan of this square neckline that's in right now. But, you know, I thought this was a cute and comfortable top. So next is a little long sleeve knit top. It's got those cute balloon sleeves. It is in a light pink color. This was really soft. It was marked down to $13.49, but it was again a double XL, so it looked a little big on me, though I kind of wondered if I should have picked this up, though, because it is really soft, and I could definitely wear it this fall and winter. So next is this little silky sleeveless blouse in the color blush. This was originally $34, marked down to $15.23. This is an extra large, but the armholes was a little big. I also didn't love the neckline. So next is this little um, coral and white floral blouse by um, Liz Claiborne. This was originally uh, $37 and it was marked down to $18.49. I did actually like this. It was a size large, so it fit well, and I ended up buying this. Um, I just liked the pattern, and I liked uh, the triple ruffle sleeve. It's very me, um, definitely my feminine style. 
So this little blouse is definitely outside my comfort zone. It's sort of that window pane black and white plaid. This was an XL and it was marked down to 1849. I thought this actually looks really cute. I didn't buy it, but um, I thought it was definitely a nice option. It was also really soft. So last item I tried on was this little Liz Claiborne sweater in the color coral. This was marked down, it was just on sale from $37 to $21. This is a large, actually it is really cute, um, but I have a lot of coral in my wardrobe and I didn't love the fit on this, so I passed. So that was my JCPenney clearance try on haul. How did I do? Um, well, I ended up keeping two pieces. I kept this little peach blouse from Liz Claiborne um, it was about $17 with all the sales and coupons. It's very feminine. It's definitely got its share of ruffles and uh, triple ruffle sleeve, but I like it. I think it's fun for summer. I'm just wearing it here with some white capri jeans. The other item I kept was this little white knit sleeveless sort of tank top. And I actually have already worn this with a little printed skirt. So this just feels like a really soft and comfortable basic. And I also paid 17 for this. So is this gonna be a regular stop in my shopping circuit? Probably not. I kinda of tend to wander into JCPenney's once, maybe twice a year, but I have to confess, I tend to like JCPenney better than Walmart. Anyway, thank you for watching, bye.